Hi, this is Elite Zero One One Seven. And this is Saw August. And uh, we're actually doing this is a part. Well, welcome to part three of just talking. Just talking. Yeah. So. Uh, um. It's awesome, I guess. So uh, let's. Today we're actually going to talk about asteroids. <laughs> well, space in general. Oh, yeah, space in general. Yeah. Well, we. But like, like we said, we, we might talk start talking we about topics like that like games, movies that involve space too. Then, that then, uh, then we might go into something else uh, out of topic. So yeah, to, so yeah. Never really heard much about space that much in the news. Like, well, I mean, overall, like they have you know, stuff like about like they really have find stuff like about you know <coughs> yeah all sorts of things on Earth and. Uh, like that. Oh, they did you about hear about the uh, meteor that hit uh, right. Russia? Yeah, I actually heard about that. Yeah. yeah. yeah what was it, like February, I think? Yeah, I well, think so. It's really crazy. I might have another meteor hit the yeah. earth too soon. You know? I think you should speak up because we were... Well, oh, it's, well, oh, well I'm, not, I'm not far away from it. This yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Um, but... We were actually going to do a video game let's play today, but... For some yeah. reason, one of our uh, um, people can't couldn't make it for some reason. Yeah, so, so yeah. whatever I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, oh yeah. Yesterday I watched the movie uh, Scott Captain: The World of Tomorrow. And I yeah. that was r a very good movie. So this is I hear the world of tomorrow. <laughs> world of tomorrow. We watched it yesterday. Oh yeah, <laughs> but I really liked it. I mean, oh, that is a good movie. I yeah, like it as well. I, I really can actually. I have, I oh have yeah, to even have to find it. Like we have a big thing to do. I'm not a right. huge fan of Jude Law, but he's oh, he's fine. fine. Yeah, he's, he's actually in a, he's in a, what? He's in that movie Artificial Intelligence. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He was that weird guy, yeah, that weird guy. Who <laughs> yeah, guy. yeah, yeah. He's like the love robot, I believe, yeah. yeah. Show they describe <laughs> it. But I actually watched two movies. I watched Total Recall, the remake, and I watched, uh, what else? Sinister, yeah, the horror movie. But, uh, yeah, the movie Sinister was actually good. I mean, I liked it, but the thing I didn't like about it was, like, it, it, it kind of, like, it was good overall, like, as in, like, I'm trying to think of what, what was I going to say, uh, like, about how, like, it, it was very really creepy. Had a lot of really good creepy feeling to it, but the thing is, it didn't, it didn't really like have very good scary moments. They were kind of cheesy, actually. It had some really funny ones, like like these little girls like walking around, and like you see them, but they're not scary. Like that's something kind of like funny. Like this is one at the very end of the movie, actually, where like there's like a box, and they show it has a bunch of films in it, and they like an old film camera, like a Super 8 camera from the movie Super 8. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> just, just, a just a minute, just a minute. Uh, just a minute, guys. Uh, I I just need to do something. So, uh, Austin, you can keep talking. You okay. can keep talking. Oh, this thing is going for three hours and fifty six minutes. Wow. Yeah, that's how long it. That's a lot. Yeah, but as for um, as for uh, that movie, like overall, it was actually a good movie. Just I don't know, like I don't like the fact that the movie was mainly in the house. Like they they hung out in the house a lot, actually. And like one of the main characters, this dude who like uh, who's a writer who writes m books, or whatever. He's writing a book about this murder that happened at the house they live in, in the backyard, I believe. Yeah. But I don't know the movie overall. It it, it was kind of creepy, and it just sort of just was just this guy watching films, and he just uh, what else happened? I can't remember. He he was just watching films basically about the the murders that he found in the uh, in the basement. Uh, no, in, in the yeah in the attic actually of the house. It's kind of creepy because you just found them randomly sitting there, but they're whole movies or whatever. But uh, in the films, though, they have, they have like, this creepy image in all of them, and then someone dies in all of them, too. It's weird. But uh, Can you it was good. It just. should. I think it, they should have went out more. They should have had more characters in the, in the movie. Because the only one that they, there was only the main guy, and there was his family, and well, there was some police officers, too. Okay, but still, there was. Very, very minor, though. What, are, what I think about it, from what I know, actually. Yeah. yeah. And after that Total Recall, I thought that yeah. was actually kind of, it was, fun, it, was, it was a fun movie, I'll say that. Okay. I was it was a really good movie, but I didn't think it was a really fun movie to watch. I liked all like, the fun action that they had in it. I enjoyed it, to see what we were like, living in, you know, and stuff. Okay, I'm back. 
Yeah, he's black from he's black from Splash Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm wearing. Yeah, shirt. he's wearing a Splash Mountain Disneyland T-shirt. Yeah. Actually, um, if we were going to do the uh, let's play today, um, we were. I actually bought the games uh, Spider-Man 2, Star Wars, Hulk, Ultimate Destruction. Yeah, Hulk and, and Star uh, Wars. Repu Star Republican Wars. Commander? Republic. Republic Commando. Yeah, Republic Commando. Yeah. yeah, I really like those games. I, and I, to be honest, um, I like. What? Okay. 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 Hey, you know he hurt the viewers' ears. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> okay, there's yeah. an earthquake. There's, another, there's two earthquakes um, just a second ago. But, uh, we're in Earthquake Alley, actually. We, 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 we're in Kansas. We're, oh, uh, we're dwarfy from Wizard We're not in Kansas anymore. We're in Kansas. That's where, that's where we live. We're in but, Kansas. Um, I, well, yeah, I was going to say... Um, I, I think... Um, I, I don't know if anyone will agree, but I think most... I think I think um uh original Xbox games are much better than most Xbox three sixty games. Oh I mean, yeah? I mean not not all three sixty games are what? Are they fat chihuahuas? No, no. Obese chihuahuas, maybe? Well <laughs> like yeah. really fat ones that need to lose some weight. <laughs> Joking. I'm uh, playing around. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> See, <I don't> <laughs> that was so funny, though. He, like, he's really actually funny. holding the uh, cover for uh, oh, Indiana Oh, yes. Jones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but, I don't know. Like, like, the way his shirt is. Like, <laughs> it's like yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I think it's funny. 1981. Wow. So old. Yeah, huh? It's hard to believe that... Uh, I, I mean, it's hard to believe that Austin hasn't... Didn't grow up with Star Wars and uh, Indiana Jones. Yeah. Yeah, there's Indiana right there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, like it. I always like the idea of Indiana Jones, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the adventure, you know? I like all that type of stuff. Yeah, it's sort of like the mummy. No, actually, this one is actually, uh, what's his name? Um, Nostalgia Critic, he actually did a review of Indiana Jones in the Temple Yeah, I know. And it's all, yeah. But his, that was, was a very funny review. Like, he, he didn't like that movie either. <laughs> 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 I haven't seen it, but it seems like a pretty crazy movie. Oh. Like, a lot of weird stuff that happened. Like, <laughs> yeah. The heart pulled out. He's just oh, like, yeah, that was, that was a strange that was movie. Oh, yeah, that was SpongeBob. Was great. Oh, yeah, SpongeBob. Yeah. This is actually the same. This is the same as I covered the is on mine. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Back with that. <laughs> You're also holding the yeah. SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Yeah, I'm actually gonna watch this actually. Probably tonight. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <coughs> 2004. I actually watched this in theaters. I didn't I, it came out. Uh, I think a lot of people who like SpongeBob did. Oh yeah, yeah. I was like, I think I. Was, you, you know it's so yeah. funny. A lot of adults hate the movie SpongeBob movie. A lot of adults. Yeah, you know it's funny actually. Like, uh, like I actually think that, to be honest, the movie probably is the most some of the best things about it actually compared to any of the, any of the episodes of the show. Like the fact that um, yeah, they talk about him being a kid and all that stuff. It's more of a more of a uh, it's emotional. It's more emotional. Yeah, yeah. The show just like, kind of funny. Like, remember the part where uh, like, the movie the, tries remember the part where the Cyclops. Uh, Things the things special and Patrick to the uh, lamp 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 thing and they uh, burning up. I think so. The problem is they they actually go make it to Shell City. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, right. they burn and they burn out. Yeah, up. yeah. They just sitting and then they had the pirates all again like. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That was actually yeah. pretty sad. Oh yeah, it was sad. It was kind of funny too. <laughs> <laughs> the pirates go. Oh, they're not gonna make it. Actually. Watch the ending of the credits. There's an ending. There's an ending in the cre in the credits where um, one of the pirates says something about uh, um uh what's it? Oh, De David Hasselhoff. Oh, <laughs> oh. The, the pirate says De David Hasselhoff is a really good sportsman or whatever. Oh. But yeah, also like uh, also with that movie with the um with the uh with the giants. 
when they're talking about him being a kid and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. That was a good part, too, like, when they're singing. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was like, oh, yeah. they're just together. I don't know all of it, but, you know, I'm going to be Yeah, the other one. You can do anything. And they're just, like, That was actually really like, yeah. catchy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I if I heard that um, song with, and not watching the Spongebob movie, I would think it was, like, a, se- a 70s song. Actually, so, to be honest, I think it. Not that that man. We can do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's also funny, like, but, uh... Actually, leave a comment and say, leave a, leave a comment and tell us if your parents hate the uh, Spongebob movie. That's what you think about the movie, actually. Be, because, yeah. um, because my parents don't like the Spongebob movie. They, they say it's too loud, and my, my dad said the only good part was David Hasselhoff. To be honest, I actually thought that was probably the most silliest part. Uh, to be honest, I had actually thought <laughs> the best parts of it was probably like the part, I remember the beginning, <coughs> where like, I like that part where Plankton does the whole thing with A to Y. Oh, yeah. Like, a to Y. <laughs> like, what for the alphabet A to Y? What about Z? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just like A to Y. <coughs> what about Z? <coughs> Plan Z. He's just like, he's, he's just a thing where he's just like, Oh, it's lemon scented or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's evil or whatever. Hey, <laughs> they play that weird music. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was really funny. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, that was really funny, though. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Do you remember, I have plans to rule the world. Yeah, he's well, like, look at that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But the thing I kind of wish in that movie is that, like, I wish they give some of the side characters a little more, more time in the movie. Like, they, oh, yeah. they barely had Sandy in the movie. They barely had, uh... Well, to be honest... I know it was a movie, and they're well, trying... I, I kind of felt like, you know, cause I know Sandy, she was in the Crystal Crab, wasn't she? Like, whatever. Yeah. Like, because I know it was also Mr. Crab, like, hey, he didn't get that much time either. He was in the whole movie. Yeah, so he was in the whole movie. Yeah, that's a wonder. But then again, they also had, like, uh... Who else? And Scribble played a big part in it, too, but... <coughs> well, I know that, wait... Wasn't he, like, uh... He was... He was, he was happy that... Supposed to be with God, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. And then, like, at the end, he starts getting all mad. And he's just like, you know, they have to come back. I don't, I don't remember. I should have seen no, him. No, no, he actually, um, I, I think he tries to turn really in, uh, Plankton and, uh. I know they also have Gary, too. And he, like, has the, but the me thing yeah, on the eyes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, to be honest, if I was in Plankton's position, I, I would be so annoyed hearing all hell Plankton. Oh yeah, uh, well, I think uh, kind of like, like has power and all that stuff, you know. <laughs> but I, I think overall though, with like playing, yeah. I think it's kind of cool. I think that's actually the, the only time you actually really had the best chance. Actually, yeah, yeah that was. You know, it's you funny. Know? Um, my my brother was watching uh, a a uh, Veggie Tales episode, and I was actually making a point that uh, kids sh- kids shows are made by adults, so technically it can be a kids show can be viewed by adults and kids. Yeah, that, yeah. That's very weird. That's very weird. Yeah, in a way. I mean, I don't watch Dora, but yeah, I mean, it's made by a movie. I there's actually a big movie about Dora, like SpongeBob. That is so weird. Uh, it's because it could be good. Like, I mean, I think the SpongeBob SquarePants was the only movie, the only thing in SpongeBob to actually yeah. try something different. You know, with what it did. It went the world. Actually, I it did a lot as a kid, I it did things um, compared to the show. As a kid, I always thought of a live action. Dragon Tales movie. So I think they made a really good movie out of that. I think they actually, <laughs> I think they actually oh. made a, gu- a good serious movie out of that. It might. Actually, an actual serious one, though. Serious? Oh, yeah. No, I think what they should do with the Dragon Dragon Tales movie is the kids from the um the first the, the show, Oh. they actually should be grown up. They should oh. be like in their 30s. Oh, wow. Literally. And the idea is basically they're kids. They, oh. they pass down the legacy to them. Oh, and Basically, something, oh. something happens in Dragon Tales land. I don't, know, I don't have no clue what it could be. You know, maybe, maybe like Dragon Tail Land goes to the world and like they start attacking the attacking the world. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's like a big we had, dragon. We have the uh, same uh, dragons, the big. Oh yes, the that's like the only thing that, that they really would have. They'd be born. They oh. other ones. Be like an evil. That one might be interesting. Yes, they would be the ones that made the beginning. I'm not sure if Dragon Tails is either. around anymore. I mean, you know, I don't I, see it on TV anymore. I, mean, I think they they t- they canceled it. I don't know why. Though. Um, it's a good show. I actually. Actually, I do remember flipping the channels one day, and uh, I ran across uh, Cyber Chase. Remember that? Wait, oh, he's, I always keep thinking of the Scooby Doo movie. Oh yeah, I love that movie. I think it's the best. Cyber time Chase was the uh, one with the kids. They go to um, this space. Fa- yeah, 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 it's and um, they the villain is the hacker, and uh, the um, main uh, computer is a motherboard, and oh, yeah. it's kind of like a Star Wars if it was kids. Well, to be honest, I actually think I'm gonna think about. I actually think I like the um, 
the Simon Chase Scooby Doo movie, more, the, the animated movie, more than the actual Scooby Doo movies. Mm. Like the first, I actually yeah, I like that one more just because I like the plot of it. I like the whole idea of him being evil, uh-huh. and also I like uh-huh. that, whole, that that world they go to. The Wait, they were one. evil. Oh no no no! no. I, mean, I don't mean them. I mean like the Simon Chase dude. I, I like the way he was. You know, um, the, 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 the I don't remember. Well, it's hard to explain. But I, I've only seen the ending of it. Oh, I haven't. Oh, I haven't oh. seen like all. Well, of like it. pretty much what they do. I do they remember the movie like, levels. They have to like uh, do stuff, but I like how they go to that mm-hmm. world where they, where they meet themselves. <coughs> it was kind of emotional too. Yeah, that was that was really it's kind cool. of sad as well in a way because they had to leave them at the end. Yeah, it was it's kind of like this special script. Yeah, like, I do remember. I, I actually did that. I actually liked that one more than I did the um, the actual Scooby movies, the first two, which I I wasn't really a fan of. The and the, I like the first one more, but still. And if and if you're gonna make a movie about a TV show, don't have it like Fat Albert where they come out to the real world. Well, Fat Albert, I mean, I don't think that was the issue with Fat Albert. Fat Albert overall, like, I thought that was actually created for Fat Albert to do that because yeah, it was. It yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Because like the fact that they're jumping out of the world, helping other people, made sense because that's what the show was about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But the problem yeah. with Fat Albert was the fact that in that movie he didn't do anything throughout the entire movie happened. I mean, all yeah, he was yeah. at the beginning he's like, oh, you were crying. Yeah. I had to get out of the world and save you. And then pretty much he hooked up with his, his girlfriend for the whole movie. Hangs out with her, talks to her. He doesn't do anything to her, to the actual yeah. person who needs help until the end of the movie. Then, like, like the last ten minutes, he, he rides a skateboard and watches her play track, and that's the end of the movie. I was like, yeah. really? You're gonna help out Brad the last ten minutes? And yeah. the whole movie was trying, basically trying to be about that, and it wasn't. It was not about that at all. It was like <laughs> him freaking going out with his girlfriend. Fat Albert. It should be called Fat Albert. It gets like uh, what do you call it? Uh, no, I want. I think they should call it Fat Albert gets laid. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Albert gets oh laid. <laughs> so funny. I would say he got laid. I think they canceled. Um, I, I think they canceled that show too. Oh, Fat Albert. Think. That was a good show, but to be honest, I, I, just like the movie. I thought the best part of that movie was the show. Yeah, I know. Like, I hated <laughs> the movie parts. I really did. It was garbage. It really felt like it was complete crap. It's like, to be honest, I seen that crap before in other movies. I oh. think out of the one, uh, uh, everybody hates Chris movie. You know that show? That's a great yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Then freaking that Fat Albert movie. <laughs> I really would. It feel like it feel like it feel like everybody hates Chris, but ten times worse than that. Like the way that they were in the city and the way that he were walking around, it kind of felt like that. It really had that feel to it, but it was ten times worse than everybody hates Chris though. <laughs> Which I actually like that show. That's a really yeah. good show. A great show, in my opinion. I love watching that show. It's hilarious. Yeah. I like that darn stupid movie. <laughs> but the best part of that movie was the show. I love that part of the kids in the car and the people around him being like, hey, but you're going to have that. You know, I was actually thi- you know, I I, I'm actually, I'm actually thinking. Um, remember when they um, fed our parents, they had the uh, fishology? Yes. Th- yeah. That should have been in theaters. I, I, would, see, I would like to see see that movie in theaters. I mean, it was a three-part uh, movie, and it was really good. I, I would really like to see it in theaters. That, <gasps> that would be so cool. I bet you they would, they would love to put that in our TV movie with uh, Drake. They would love with that in theaters. I think that was bad, actually. Oh, speaking of, Drake, speaking of Drake Bell, um, that new uh, Spider-Man show with uh, Drake Bell, but Drake Bell plays as Peter Parker, and he just plays the Dragonfly from a superhero movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's um, what he That's that, a superhero. That show is actually, I think that show is really good. I mean, lots of people don't like it because it's has too many um, uh, cheap jokes. Like Drake Bell keeps saying these weird pun pun lines every second and talks to the audience. But I think that's uh, Spider-Man's character. Uh, I mean, Drake Bell plays Spider-Man's character really well. I th- yeah. I think he. I mean, he gets the season one was eh, all right. Season two is great. I love season two of S- the Ultimate Spider-Man. Oh, uh, they should call it the Sexy Spider-Man. <laughs> oh yeah, for me, I actually I did I actually have gotten the second that that show beats won't tell. So I'm not sure if I mentioned. It. I don't think I have that. that. No, yeah. yeah. No, you didn't. But I mentioned that just show, just but uh, that show overall, there's only one episode so far. That next episode comes out next Monday. The only thing that comes out this Monday, actually. Yeah. So I'm excited to see what the next, next episode is going to be like. But the first episode overall was actually really good. I liked it. It wasn't the best pilot I've ever seen, but it was a good episode, though. The only thing I can say, though, is I don't think they had to have a... Because in the first episode, they didn't have a murder in it. I don't think they had to have that for <coughs> every episode. I hope they don't think they have to. Like, you have to have someone die in every episode. Because uh. it'd be kind of like... It'd be, Cheap. You'd be kind of like, like you couldn't develop any character. It'd be like, oh, we have to kill that person off. I'm sorry, because he's bad somehow. I don't like the idea of that. But overall, though, like with that show, it is a good show. And actually, I actually think I'm watching that Spongebob Scrapeheads movie too, probably tonight. Yeah. Actually. 
But you know, even with that movie right there, I actually think though that overall, like, actually, you know, actually, what do you think is better actually, that movie or, uh, uh, do, do you think that the show storyline, the way it is, is better or that movie? It's kind of hard because um, the show storyline goes in dodge of areas. Well, it is. Uh, well, it isn't really. Do you, do you think that movie storyline was better than the, well, most of the episodes of the show? Um, I was. They go to Shell ha- City and get the crown. Actually, <laughs> actually, me. I think the movie will be considered an episode. Well, you know, I, I it's think like it's a two-hour, yeah, it's kind of a half-hour, uh, one and a half-hour episode. Yeah, I, yeah, mean, actually, I wonder what that movie got actually on. Uh, actually, it got a pretty good, cool, good way. Well, I, I hope it. Did. I mean, I, I, I personally think that you know, if anyone didn't like the movie overall, it's just people who don't like the movie. I mean, yeah. I understand why people. My like, parents like said it was too loud in the theater. So, yeah. I mean, to be mm-hmm. honest, that's not like like. It's too loud. Like I, I don't even remember confused Matthew says about something being too loud. I believe I'm not sure. Um, it was uh, Star Trek. Yeah, even without that, I don't think that would be too loud. I actually, there were a lot of uh, quiet moments in that movie. Wait, so you're get, so confused Matthew is gonna say that uh, Star loud, Trek right? was too loud, but not uh, me transfor- as the Trek. Yeah, yeah Transformers. Transformers. Like oh, Avengers. Yeah, even the sound movie. He was talking all the time. <laughs> you know, what are that? Almost, That's pretty damn loud. Almost every m- movie you go to in the theaters is loud. At least in some areas. Yeah, it's I would say areas. every area. Because to be honest, Mostly I don't think it's an action it. scene or whatever. Or an action scene that's like higher scale, like Avengers and Transform- Transformers. There's SpongeBob SquarePants movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I got six point. We got six point action. That's actually. But, but that's hey, yeah. For, yeah. for people who haven't seen the uh, show, do you think they, they get the movie? Wait, this one's our movie? Yeah. Or? To be honest, the, the fact that with the show, okay, the only thing you, you need to understand about the movie, if you haven't seen the show, is one thing. That's a simple fact of, it's not trying to be serious. Yeah, no. I don't think it is. I hate when people think that it's not trying to be, like, this show that's trying to be, like, serious or something like that. It's not. It's a complete <laughs> comedy. Like, really. To be honest, I don't even consider it a kid's show. Because it is fairly dark in some areas, as for, like, the way it's comedy is presented, the way some of the jokes are. It's not like a yeah. kid-friendly show. But on the other hand, though, don't right. say it's some... Don't, don't say the show is bad do because it's, it's, do you think it's not serious. Or do you think my grandparents would like it? They're 80. They're about to be 80. Honest. Do you think my grandparents would like this? I like would say... It? I would say... Pro- I, would, I would probably be more on the not side. Just because, I mean... I don't know if any old people would watch kid shows, at least not nowadays. Yeah. But overall, if they watch kid shows, maybe. But I don't think they do or not. And a lot of people that I know that are old don't really enjoy kid shows. Be- like, 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 because because I don't was actually like, considering... Um, you should have to watch it. What? You should have to watch it. Oh. Because I actually consider... Uh, <laughs> it's freaking creepy. What? I'm like, oh, the guy who plays King Neptune, look at his face. <laughs> I know that is. It's, I, actually, that's a creepy picture. Actually... Though. Um, oh, it's you know, you know the guy who plays King Neptune? He, he's actually in The Grinch. The, oh, oh, uh, yes. Uh, oh. The, the uh, Jim Carrey Grinch? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, let's picture that. I'm sure he was like, wait, let me pop up, hurry. But Ah, oh, she was taking his time. But I actually can... I actually, um... <laughs> I thought the picture was creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, like, like, it, like it, when it was far away, it looked like his mouth was, like, some weird... Actually, it makes you think of the Hellraiser, yeah. Really? You know this weird mouth that has, like, the, the mouth that's so weird, oh. like, perfect? It's kind of creepy. Oh, you're actually the Hangover, too. <coughs> oh. Yeah. And that's actually another one I do enjoy as well. I don't like the, the second one, and I think the third one, to be honest, from what I've seen so far, it might be crap as well. It really looks like... It actually looks worse than the second one did. Now, it could be good. I hope it is, but I don't know. But, uh... But actually, um, I recommended uh, Jimmy the Jimmy Neutron movie for my um, oh, yeah, yeah. grandparents. Did they like it? Uh, they did haven't they seen they it yet. It was ass. What? <laughs> they, they, they haven't seen it. Oh, yet. Wow, ten out of ten. It's but SpongeBob. Enough said. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Ten out of ten. Seven out of ten. Ten out of ten. Pretty fun. I mean, I'm looking at reviews actually right now. Well, I see these reviews. What, what do the uh, bad comments say? Most of them are just ten out of ten because they know what to expect. You know, it's exactly a really a really silly film. That's the idea. It's not trying to be serious in any way. Yeah. I'm surprised actually. I, wow. I, I actually, my yeah, my wow, dad. Wow, these are all like ten out of ten. I, actually, yeah, my dad said like you, if you wouldn't get the movie if you haven't seen the show. Like to he says, honest, like um, yeah. Um, how would you know if uh, Patrick Star is dumb? 
You were happy to see Arthur Stone. How do you know if he's dumb? Well, the fact is, I mean, the show does exactly the same job as the movie does. As showing yeah. Him. It just shows him being dumb. I mean, you can watch a thousand well, episodes about him. I mean, you you can know that he's dumb, but the fact I is the movie shows it off right uh, off the bat. He, he, like, whenever he's, he's doing that part whenever he's, uh, he does the whole thing with, like, the thing in his butt. Like, <laughs> that's a good example of stupidity. I'm yeah. sorry, but, I mean... The movie doesn't really. Why do you have to even know? Even, do you really even have to know that? Not really. And it's a character part, but I think the movie just gets up and shows us that. And also, I think the it's characters in SpongeBob lost weight since uh, the uh, old show, the SpongeBob show. I think they lost the weight. Like uh, in the movie, Mr. Krabs is freaking short in the movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, overall, I think that it's kind of dumb and, and idiotic to think that the movie... Oh, the, yeah, actually, the video game. Oh, yeah, the video, video game is yeah. good. But, you know, I can't play the video. I want to play it, actually. Actually, it was very fun. It, it's pretty hard, but... But, oh, yeah, Battle for Bikini Bottom. Yeah, that's the one I have. <coughs> oh. 7.5. I even got higher than the movie did. Wait, freaking hey, Victor has a video game? I guess so. I don't know that. Just, just now, I saw someone else in the movie. Wait, is that Fixer or something? Yeah, this, this is IBD. IBD. Oh, oh yeah. I, I mean. Fixer only has movies. Okay. Not like, IBD, I forget. They have actually a lot of stuff. But uh, overall, though, yeah, with, um, with the actual, uh, what do we call it? Like, with this one of Travis movie, I don't know why people would consider it serious. I, I just think it's funny how people would. It's just like, are you serious? Like, you look at the freaking poster and tell it's serious. It's not serious. <laughs> Wait, what, what is it? How is it? I mean, the it's one that... It looks funny. It looks funny. You know? It's like, it's the like, one it's like you see SpongeBob against the spies on has a serious face. Wait a minute, the one where um, Patrick and SpongeBob are running from the explosion, or oh no, oh no, I, I'm trying to think the 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 the, the, the DVD cover of the movie. Oh wait, like, you can look at it in two times. Wait a minute, wait, 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 Spongebob Squarepants. I was like, the, I thought the part where it's like, Spongebob. Oh, yeah, the pirates. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's just like, it's just like the bikini bottom like in the theater. It's like, the, the, I like the, the, the thing when they start the bikini bottom because it changes it. Like, you know, like in the show, they do the whole thing bikini bottom, but it's you just know, like, they're not so quiet. You know, it makes me wonder. Down. It's kind of strange. What, what was the, the uh, it's different than the Spongebob movie, movie start if it didn't have the pirates? <laughs> What I, like, I, I like the fact that they had that just because it, it fit the movie and it kind of made it funnier, actually. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how it would be in the show if they had like that, like that in the show, but... Uh, as I, the maybe movie, they had the theme. It's like, you know, it's kind of weird they had like, the, uh, the, new, the old Twitter Christmas logo, like with the, 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 the picture of the sailor. Oh, yeah! <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm glad that they kept with the pirates because... I feel like, I feel like that. Right. Okay. Yo, she, I don't know if she's seen this one of Scarface movie. <laughs> 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 you should ask me. Oh, yeah. If she comes. I wonder if she thinks about that movie. I wonder if she thinks about that. Like, I wonder what movie yeah. she likes, actually. If, hey, if you're a, an adult out there watching this, can you tell us what you think of um, the SpongeBob movie? Yeah, like, even the show. Like, what do you think about overall, like, what you've seen in the show? I actually, I actually I my, what they, my I dad think. likes the show much better than the movie. Personally, I, to be honest, think that I like the movie. One thing I like about it, I, I think the show's fine, but one thing I like about the movie is it tries a different thing. It tries to go to a different realm. Yeah. The, the show, now then again, is a movie. The show overall stays in its realm. It always has. Yeah. It never has got out, not once. Well, any episode we've actually seen them really get out of the, I don't mean like go to another place like Glove World or go down to the <laughs> rock bottom. I mean literally jump out of the realm of what it's used to. The movie did that. Then again, it is a movie. Well, there was that one so, episode where they did go up in to land. And that was, to be honest, not exactly what I mean by. <laughs> I mean it was it was. Well, what, what, what do you mean by out well, the world? I mean like world. actually like visit like how they met human characters like they met David Hasselhoff. Yeah. They met that one dude, the uh, the guy, you know, that weird. I don't really call him the Cyclops. Uh, and also we also met like we also met people like other family with like like. Well, like, there was that his daughter. Has she ever been in the movie? No. In the show, not once. The daughter, King Desmond's daughter? Yeah. Has she ever been in the show? No. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, to be honest, King Desmond, I think he has, but very small. Like, <laughs> yeah, very yeah, small yeah. Role. He has one. Like, to be honest, like, there's some people who have who was not in the movie, but then again, I don't think they think that they I also the like how the show, in so the like shows, there's usually episodes that aren't about Spongebob. 
like SpongeBob's kind of there, but it's mostly yeah. it's Plankton or uh, Patrick or yeah, yeah, I have seen some episodes like that too as well. <laughs> like but overall, though, I think that the remember most the episode where Plankton uh, switches <coughs> bodies with the uh, yeah, yeah, with the crash. Crash. yeah. <laughs> that was a good example actually. <laughs> I mean, we were all about Scooby actually, but about him. Uh, him going to the past, present, and future. <laughs> I, I love that one. I, I thought that was one of my favorite. Actually, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is a, a really creepy episode. It really is. Like, <laughs> even, even, when they go, even when they go inside that future elevator, it looks creepy. It creeps me out. Like, especially whenever they, they had that part where he breaks the elevator and then it, it like, flattens out. It's like, alone. I want to be alone. <laughs> alone. Alone. Right. That's creepy. <laughs> I mean, I would say, if I was a little kid, I'd be kind of creeped out by that. And just you saying that, and like, he, he like, he raises those weird colored tiles off the floor, and mm. they disappear. <laughs> it makes that creepy, weird sound. Yeah, yeah, like, I remember. It's, it's just scary. It's just like, what is this, you know? Even though it was, the, the, like, the past and the future episodes, like, where he went to the past and saw some of them, like, his monkeys. That was creepy. It was just weird. It was just right. such, I mean, there, there is actually one episode where, kind of um, yeah. you see, uh, Patrick, Spongebob, and Squidward as, like, a BC. BC, they, they look like they're um, prehistoric times. Yeah. There, there is an episode like that. Oh. Oh. You know, actually, you know one thing I can say? Actually, as for the games, actually, I've only played one games, but I think that that Battle for Bikini Bottom game would not be a bad movie. Oh, it well. really has a good plot as for a movie. Like, it's about robots. Yeah, oh, yeah. And Bikini yeah. Bottom basically taking over. Like, they, they, they take over Plankton, basically. Huh. Even, even with Plankton, like, he's trying to get back into the, into the Ghost of Crab in the game. It really fits <coughs> wow. almost for like a movie idea, like a sequel to the first movie. Like yeah, in the first movie, he he does take control and he wins it in a way, but then he he, he gets lost. That's so right. Here's about him thinking he has control, but thinking he doesn't have it. Oh, he loses it from the robot. I, it is a good plot to the audience. It really is. I think it changed a few things. I won't it change a few things definitely, but after the main plot of it, great plot yeah. for a movie. Even for a game, it was great. And I thought the game was hard as hell too. Now they had that one game, Super Sponge, complete garbage. Like the plot, the plot of Super Sponge is stupid. It's about uh, Patrick's birthday party. <laughs> it's about basically uh, you have to you have to get Patrick uh, an autograph uh, signature of Bar Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Oh, that's what they had candy. They were not in the movie Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Oh, yeah, they were. But this, you know, it's funny actually. They, they could have showed up and they could have tried to help them get the 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 crowd back from Shell City. Is that what they have, actually? Because like they're the superheroes. You know, they're the fight crime. That's a crime. They're gonna <laughs> kill Mr. Krabs. Mm -hmm. And he would show up and try to stop it? It's just like, screw Mr. Krabs. He's fine. We have to go fight Mr. Uh, the Dirty Bubble and him. I guess I guess they were too busy... Um, Fighting the Dirty Bubble and no, no, they, Mr. No, they were too busy... Um, the Probably, the, the, the copy no, they were No, they were too busy um, of keeping their uh, copy... Copyright, um, copyrights, because you know, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are pretty much they're like kind of like a Batman and Robin. Maybe they're yeah. maybe they're Batman and Robin. But the only difference is they're in the nursing home. They're probably in Shady yeah. Shoals sleeping during the time <laughs> of the thing. I guess <laughs> <laughs> that's what they have. The Shady Shoals. They actually have it in the game too. In, in Battle for Kitty Bottom, they have oh. Shady Shoals. <laughs> yeah, you can go there. Like you can go inside of there. And, like the, the Mermaid is underneath Shady Shoals. <laughs> yeah. Like you have to like the chair raises up and like it's underneath there. It's huge as hell too. It really is big as fuck. Like, it really is. <laughs> well, and also you gotta remember well. that uh, remember me and Barnacle Cabor were old. Yes, yeah, that's what they're doing. Yeah. That's <laughs> the whole thing on the TV. Even that game in that game, uh, the Super Smash game, which is very cheesy. Yeah, they're actually cheesy shows in that game too. But you know, you 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 get the, you get to see them go inside of them, but you don't actually have to do anything in there. Because um. all they do is fix all they do is fix the TV. They they, they have to give them a sandwich, fix. I want to play that game again. Like, yeah, so this stupid SpongeBob Super Sponge. Oh, I do the PS One. It's, it's for the PS One. I have it. I literally have it. It is a piece of crap. But it is, it is a very funny game. One of the, one of the things I, I'm I not a big fan it. of, really, I wasn't a big fan of the SpongeBob yeah, games, is that the graphics. So, those graphics are weird. They, I mean, they look SpongeBob. Oh, even the games in some of the parts in that darn that game I was telling you about the uh, that came out, they have some yeah. weird looking uh, cutscenes. Like, yeah. <laughs> they do. They have some pretty pretty creepy ones. Like they kind of creep me out. And also some creepy levels too. Like the the moon is a very creepy level. Mm -hmm. uh, the moon layer. Oh, the yeah, goes. It's creepy. It is. And also they have a kelp forest. Creepy ass level too. Uh, yo, know, I think the hardest level is probably the freaking Flying Dutchman. They have uh, a part in that level that is freaking almost impossible to be honest. I, I, 
it really is hard as hell. Like, no. you know how they have those games where you have to like jump from one side to the other side. I think and, like, so. Go, go up, go up, like go go up to the top or something. But you have to like jump on the walls. Okay. It, like hop it. It's hard to explain. Like oh, oh the uh, you have two walls. You have to like, do this. Oh, boing, oh, boing, oh. boing, boing. Oh, um, Mario does that. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, yeah. Like that. They have some in the, in the first level. There's there somebody to do that, but they have so in the in the flying Dutchess graveyard. We have to do that, but it actually moves. Like as you're going up, like there are these things that actually move like that. Oh, yeah. It, like it's, actually, Mario like, Galaxy did that too. It did. Wow. Like, it, like uh, this is some levels where the platforms move. Well, so they have where they move, but like this right here, like they had something like throughout the entire level, like they actually literally move. Like it, it, it was actually quite quick as well. Oh, it was more like a, a, a time jump thing. We had oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's hard to explain. Get actually watch it to see it but I actually to see that if 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 uh, Mario actually had that <laughs> <laughs> if uh, Mario actually had that I know that but but like with that particular uh, that particular game though that was really because in fact it was a Spongebob game and uh, that was the only level they had it all the other levels didn't have it it was very simple with that it was just you have to jump through, jump through the walls and that level had these freaking you have to be you have to it was timed and I, I really uh, got really you know, by that Andrew go check something but um, oh, uh, I'll see yeah I'll see see if your grandpa Joe's here yeah he's grandpa Joe picks him up <laughs> yeah I'm sure you guys remember what we were talking about yesterday about the bodies and about the <laughs> no, <please don't. laughs> that was so interesting wasn't it what's that I don't know that sound was weird but uh oh, I was gonna say uh but yeah, like as for, as for uh, the SpongeBob SquarePants, we actually I'm actually excited to watch it actually because I haven't seen it in a while. <coughs> I actually want to watch it, but the one we had, the one we have don't work. Like the, I don't even know what the hell the DVD is actually. Yeah. I, th I mean, have the case, but it, there's no DVD. You inside. know, I was always, I always thought like when, I mean, uh, when I I would have the Sponge. Wait, actually, this will make sense. I. I forget I said anything. It doesn't make, really make sense. It uh, should make sense, though. Why well, should? That you are was. <laughs> but overall, though, like, do you guys wish that there's another sequel to uh, SpongeBob SquarePants movie, or do you yeah. guys think that it should be by itself? I, I personally think that it should have a sequel. I actually <coughs> think it should start off with Mr. Uh, Plankton go being in prison, remember? Oh, yeah. He started with the first one that's off. It's actually, there is a show. show that actually leads off with that, with her Plankton is in prison, but they had this... Well, I think it was actually a different episode. Like it was the one that he got <coughs> prison again. But this right, like uh, the movie, I there was another episode that was about that same thing. Like oh. literally, almost exactly. It, the same was, thing. it was where uh, Plankton was drawing has drawing a rock band with. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that one actually. Yeah, <coughs> but I don't think that's what's gonna happen. I think this is next. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good plan. I'm sorry. I think that they should go with the Battle for Kitty Bottom plan. Actually, I thought that was a really good plan. <coughs> a really, uh, they came up with something different, but that so far is a really good plan to be honest for a sequel to the to the movie. But also, I think that to be honest, I think the movie just needs a sequel to it. I, I really want to see that. I, actually, I think I'll watch it tonight. I really think I'll watch it. I, I want to watch it. Yeah, I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna watch it tonight. But I don't know when. But I actually, my, even my dad, he actually said it's stupid. I just said the movie was dumb. But he said the same yeah, thing yeah. about it. Yeah. Well, what do you <coughs> expect? It's SpongeBob. You really think it's gonna be a serious movie? Yeah, I mean, I don't know, like actually, kind of opens up like where they have like they, like how it, it opens up differently than the show does. Like well, it shows the yeah. thing with the cheese. This is like the only thing I don't like about comedies is that I don't like when they um, like I like how SpongeBob is random. I mean, it's 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 a funny it's a, I mean people say it's annoying, but it's funny. It's I mean <coughs> they, don't, they don't have like sex, dumb sex jokes yeah. and let, let's. That's why I don't like comedies that much today. Oh. Mr. Eden, would you call 20663? No, I won't. 20663. Uh, yeah. Maybe we should call that number. <laughs> <laughs> 20663. Um, 20663. Yeah, that, was, that, wasn't, that was actually the principal. Yeah, it was. So, what was I saying? Um, I remember. I think it was talking about Sponge. Spongebob Squarepants, Spongebob Squarepants, Spongebob. <laughs> um, yeah, awkward silence. <coughs> but, um, hey, um, are you still on the uh, site? What site? Uh, the IMBD. Oh, no, not, 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 I was on oh, it. Okay. I, I can get on it again. I have the oh. app. Oh, well, that's fine. There we go, I'm on it now. Oh. Um, look up Star Wars Republic Commando, the game I brought. 
Oh, okay. Well, see, if I actually tied to Jack too. He didn't tie it. It didn't show anything up for some reason. Like, oh, wow. I don't know why. I, I mean, maybe it's just like if it's really to like a movie. It showed. I don't know. I don't know the same thing I showed. Well, well, Star, well, hey. Star Wars. Yeah, Star the Wars. games. I forgot. Yeah, Star Wars. Star Wars has so many Star games. Star Wars. I mean, what guys? What's your what's your favorite Star Wars game? Oh, 2015 Star Wars episode. <coughs> a new movie. Yeah. 2015. Yeah, I know. Star yeah. Wars Episode 7. Star Wars, Star Wars Episode Harrison Ford. <laughs> oh, yeah, Star Wars Episode uh, Indiana Jones. That's Indiana Jones. Yeah, I know. Yep, he's all in the now. <laughs> that's, that's so weird. What? Like, it's, yeah, he, like, back in the 70s, he, uh, 80s, he was in Indiana Jones, now, like, back in the 2000s. I don't know. Wait, do you, have, do, you have, do you have Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, actually? Oh, no. Oh, if you did, I would like to see, like, that one compared to the old ones. Like, to see, <laughs> yeah. like, how he looks. And, and those Star Wars movies, too, because he's he's in the original Star Wars. Oh, yeah, he's in Star Wars, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, look up Republic Commando. It was just showed on here actually. That's the thing. Like earlier, it, 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 it showed us what all on there. That's why I, I, I saw it. The never ending story three. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Let's type in Republic Commando. Well, I want to put the never ending story three guy first. This is old as fuck. Oh. Two point nine. Let's look at the cover. It looks like, it looks like oh. ass. Look at that. Wait, how much time do we have? That looks like a shitty cover. Look at that cover. Ooh, we were talking for forty two minutes. Hell yeah. Yeah, look at that assy cover. <coughs> that looks stupid. That, yeah. looks, that, that, that looks like a freaking, like, that looks like someone who's high, actually. 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 It looks like someone who's high. Like, they're, yeah. they're a dream fantasy. It's just like but a weird, fluffy dog. And they're riding, they're riding on its back in a, in a, in a but castle. But actually, I'm not going to make this into two parts. I'm just going to put it on the whole video. Fantasia. Yeah, I remember to keep, uh, it's not going to be in this movie. Um, <laughs> it was like, why the hell are they stating for Kent? Fantasia or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look. I can't wait. I was born in 1994. Hey, look up a Republic. Star Wars. It probably, probably, probably doesn't pop up actually. Well, the SpongeBob movie game. Well, probably. see, it popped up because of the fact that it, uh, like, because the movie was on there, it was on there. Okay. It. it wasn't like it was. The, I look it up. I look it up. Just like that for Kitty Bottom, it was right underneath uh, the movie as well. Yeah. So it, it was just kind of there. So it probably popped up. Republic Commando. No, this would be the Democratic Commando. Wow, I'm going to this movie. Two, one, what? five. Wait, what? What's it? What is it? Oh, they really don't like the movie, but they think it's ass. What movie? Never Ending Story 3. Oh. Yeah. They should really make Never Ending Story. I, mean, I don't know they would, actually. Yeah, they might. <coughs> what about Jack Black is worth watching? Oh, yeah. Jack Black? Oh yeah, he's actually in this. Yeah, he's, he's in this movie. He's so stupid. He's like a bully or whatever. He's just dumb. Oh. He's funny in the movie, but like it really is silly the way his role is. Like really, like he looks so old to play a bully in a movie, like in the high school. <laughs> it looks stupid. It really does. Oh. He looks like a fat ass, to be honest. He looks like a really fat bully. It's like look at that fruity ass bully. Oh no, sorry. That's it. <laughs> okay. Wait, did you hear that? Actually, when you do like the, would you listen to it? What? Did you do you have you have you listened to it? Uh, I haven't. No, I haven't listened to the whole thing yet. Like of the other ones? Uh, yeah. Did you hear the earthquakes? No. You don't hear them? Uh, well. Okay. Actually, back to, back to the fat ass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh. Actually, I think I cut it out, but. Whatever. Yeah, Aaron's his grandpa though. Yeah, he likes to cut bodies out of food. Joking. Oh, you guys ever talk about that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Aaron, yeah, he, he actually does his bodies. He actually gets high a lot. <laughs> no, Aaron, you get high a lot. Yeah, Aaron gets high a lot. 